He's one of our greatest painters, famous for his watercolour landscapes and seascapes. While collectors happily pay millions for Turner's artwork, his country retreat in Twickenham, designed by the artist himself nearly 200 years ago, is at risk of falling into disrepair. It was at Sandy Coombe Lodge that Turner found some peace and quiet, as our arts correspondent Brenda Manis reports. A quiet residential road in Twickenham and on it Sandy Coombe Lodge, once the home of Britain's celebrated landscape painter J. M. W. Turner. This Grade II listed Regency villa was designed by Turner as a retreat for himself and his elderly father. It became a place for rest, recreation and inspiration. He had in the West End, in Harley Street, he had a, a studio, a gallery, and his, what he called his lodgings, his house. And he had a lot of uh, clients coming, wanting their paintings finished. He's always successful, even from his teens. So it's an extraordinarily busy, hectic life. And here, it was peaceful country retreat. What was his life like here? He is, in a certain way, relaxed. But of course he does always like to work, so ideas about paintings are always in his mind. And this part of the Thames still is very beautiful and was absolutely inspirational for him. The house is now in a poor state of repair and the Turner's House Trust have launched an appeal to save it. We would like to return the house to what Turner himself designed. But in order to do all that, I'm afraid, it comes back to money and we're going to need, it's a two million pound project of which we need to find uh, at least 600,000. We are now on English Heritage Register of Buildings at Risk and this means that the project can't wait indefinitely. We've had some funding to help us keep out excessive rainwater because the house has been fairly neglected probably for half a century. This is a work by Turner. It can't be allowed just to fall to pieces. So, with financial support from the Heritage Lottery Fund in place, the challenge is on to raise the extra £600,000. And, if successful, Sandy Coombe Lodge will be open to the public in 2016 as a monument to the great painter and a reminder of how this part of south-west London inspired his great work. Brendan Manus, BBC London News.